Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, um, February 15th, and um, greetings. Um, had a good day yesterday on uh, Valentine's Day. I um, We had like a dinner um, at our church, and it was like a potluck dinner, and the uh, food was really good. And uh, anyways, today um, we're going to be uh, getting a sermon in the book of Job. And anyways, I just want to make a few comments. Um, sometimes things happen to us in our life that are very depressing. We lose family, friends, um, different circumstances. Our health may go bad. And we wonder, you know, why is this happening to us, okay? So, uh, anyways, um, this week I was reading the book of Job, and uh, in chapter 3, you know, Job had all these bad things happen to him in chapter 1, and uh, so, you know, Job was very depressed, he didn't know why all this evil things happen to him and he kind of bewailed the fact that he was even born and that whole chapter talks about how uh, depressed and he wasn't angry at God but he was very depressed and like almost wished he had never been born and uh, I know his uh, transgender gay lesbian people they're rejected by their families and uh or avoided or made fun of and ridiculed in public and people just don't want to um, be associated with you anymore well you know you can almost like make that application to uh job's situation in chapter three and then a friend um, in chapters 4 and 5 says, well, you know, God is righteous and God, you know, just brings evil upon those who do evil. And so this friend of Job was basically suggesting that Job must have done something to deserve all this evil and things that happened to him. But what Job and the people on earth didn't see is that God had said to Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? And uh, God allowed all those things to happen to Job to prove that Job loved God because, because of who God was, not because of all the benefits and protection that God had provided for Job. And um, so uh, some believe that Job was the first book of the Bible. It kind of predates Moses. And um, anyway, so, you know, I've been thinking a lot about that this week. And I know in my life that, you know, I worked all my life and, and tried to establish myself, but I basically lost everything. And I could be bitter against God, and uh, but I'm not. Because I feel God has called me for a purpose. He's allowed me to go through all these things. And I still go to church, and I still worship God on Sunday because of who He is. And um, over the years, uh, God has taken care of me many times and supplied my needs. And um, so I thank him for that. And, you know, like Job said, um, he says, can we receive good from God, but not evil? So I just want to encourage all my friends. Sometimes we go through things and we don't understand why. And, uh, but God has a reason. He's doing, he's molding us. He's teaching us something. 
And uh, so, anyways, that's all I wanted to share this morning. And I'm on my way to church. I'm wearing a light green blouse, and I have dark green slacks and my hoodie that I wear. It's it's and it's warm today. Uh, I was just out on the patio. It's 50 degrees, and the sun's out, and it's supposed to get up well. It's going to stay warm today and uh, didn't really get cold, cold last night, not like um, Friday night. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with my friends. Be encouraged um, if things aren't going right in your life and you feel down and depressed, realize that, you know, God is watching you. Um, God is teaching us something. God has a purpose. So, anyways, and there's a situation where uh, two of the apostles were put in prison in the New Testament in the book of Acts. And I don't remember exactly where it was, but they were singing and rejoicing because God counted them worthy to suffer for his name's sake. So, uh, Anyway, that's my little um, encouragement for the day. So, anyways, uh, this afternoon I'm going um, to Norm's Alibi. Uh, there's a close friend of mine who I just recently became friends with in the last few months. And um, she's moving to... Uh, St. Petersburg, uh, Florida, which is a couple hundred miles away. So, uh, anyway, I guess her mother lives close to there and she wants to move there for other reasons too. But, uh, anyways, we're having a little dinner party for her um, over where she works at the uh, Norm's Alibi. So, I'll be going over there and um, there's going to be um, a lot of ZT to eat, and um, she's made a lot of pots of special sauce, so it's going to be baked ZT with sauce, so I'm really looking forward to, to that. And, uh, so Francis is having um, a lot of food this week. <laughs> all right, so that's about all I have to say. Eight minutes, got to go. Love everybody. Have, have a great Sunday, and uh, Monday's a holiday, I believe. They call, it, they call it President's Day down here in the USA, so everybody had a good weekend. Okay? Love you all. Bye.